So there, there's a ton of complexity, obviously, and that complexity is largely driven by two levers that combine. The first lever is, is the underlying inherent exposure. So what type of operation is it and where is it physically? Um, there is a ton of just geographic heterogeneity from one area to another. So a um, statistic that, that we pulled out of one of our data sets is that for an acre of land uh, in one area versus an acre of land somewhere else, there is literally a two orders of magnitude difference in the value of that piece of land. So if you um, have an incident on an acre of land in one spot and then 100 miles away, 1,000 miles away, 100 yards away, um, you have that same incident on that same area of land, the economic cost of that incident can be 100 plus times different. So one piece of that complexity is driven by there's a ton of underlying um, just inherent differences in exposures. The other piece, which um, is even more compl complicated and complex, is the risk controls that the companies them themselves have. There are, there's probably no two companies that control risk in the same way. Um, there are hundreds of different, if not thousands of different um, ways that people are in engineering wise, procedurally, um, or literally just depending on their people, mitigating risks. And you can combine those in um, our systems, for example, um, handle over 24 million different permutations that, that people can do in the field to um, mitigate operational risk. And so that amount of complexity, as you're getting at, is, is a ton of complexity. And when you combine that with the underlying variation as well of those exposures, to effectively assess risk, you need to take a very uh, thoughtful, intelligent, structured approach. Um, and we do that by um, creating frameworks that um, allow us to map all that complexity, those 24 million plus different permutations, into risk control systems, and then roll that up leveraging mathematics, leveraging statistics, um, and software and technology to do that. Um, but you need to have a robust approach uh, because it's a robust problem and a complex problem to solve. So to do it effectively, um, you need to do it in a robust way. To Back to the first question, unlock that value through effective risk assessment.